Hello all, I'm here to talk about Microsoft's Sway, which can be found on the Office 365 um, website. If you, have, if you have access to Office 365, Sway is something you should really look at. It's something that's not talked about much. Highly functional. I'm just going to give you a quick tutorial on how to use it. Very basic stuff. And um, show you best layouts that you can use to um, get your point across. So I'm going to open up Sway. We have pre-designed layouts in which you can use for blog or do it your own post, newsletter, whatnot. I'm going to actually make a little blog, but I'm going to do it from scratch. So I'm just going to open up a new Sway. Once Sway is opened, this is how it works. So Sway works off things they call cards, and the cards are pieces of information you are putting in. And there's multiple cards, you can have as many cards as you want, and you can even play with the layout. So I'm going to make a quick one on Heidi Guaitra. And then I'm gonna bring in a picture from my documents here. And I'm just gonna bring that in. And this picture right here is gonna act as the background photo. So that is gonna be the photo that is going to be at the top of the document. So when that comes in, I can look at it and see how it looks. By hitting play, it will show you what your sway is looking like. So right now I have my sway set up to be an up and down. And by that I will explain. So when you go into design up here, you can design styles how you want it to look. Mine's going to be vertical, so it's going to go up and down. So it's going to go this way. Horizontal means you sort of flip the pages. When you scroll, it goes sideways. And slides, almost like a PowerPoint. So you can make it really a functional high-level PowerPoint if you would like. This is the background I choose. I went through all these and they looked good, but I decided to go with just the basic down here. But whatever you're trying to get across or whatever you want your look to be, this really allows you to curate the way you would like it to look like. So I'm going for more of a higher end look, so I decided to go on this one. So I'm going to go back to Storyline and I have my Haida Gwaii trip in my pictures. So then I want to explain what Haida Gwaii trip is. So I'm going to add a card and I'm going to choose text. And then I'm going to go into a document I already have created, and I'm going to go into my Sway Stuff document. And I already have my stuff typed out just for brevity, so I've decided to copy and paste all that in there. So I'm just going to copy it in there, back into my Sway, Control V, and it's all in there. It has links. It's told me there's a mistake, which is fine. Um, and then it has links of the restaurant we go to, all that stuff, already preset, does it really well. So I have the trip, I have the explanation of the trip, and then I can add some pictures. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to add images. And then I'm going to go back in here. And I'm going to pick some images I want to have that represents the trip. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to actually add quite a few. So I decided I'm going to put four images in. So I'm going to go back in here and I'm going to grab a boardwalk, drop it in here. It's exhausted, and I'm going to drive it and drop it in there. Come back up, I'm going to do divergence. I'm going to drag and drop it in here. And I am going to do one other. So the one other one I've decided to do is actually one I got off the internet off of Unsplash. And this is really going to show how captions work and how you can give attribution to the people who did it. So I'm going to go to my downloads, and I'm going to grab this picture, and I'm going to drag it in here. So with the captions, what you can do is you just say, I'm going to say photo by Andrew Olson. And then once I'm happy with that, I can just copy and paste that in there. So I'm going to copy it. I'm going to paste it here. I'm going to paste it here because I made those pictures. And then I'm going to go up to this one. And I am actually going to grab the Unsplash um, accreditation that I got from the site. So I'm going to go there with the links to this the photographer's name and his Unsplash account. I'm going to copy that and I am going to bring it in here. And links stay live, which is fantastic. So now I can go in and see what it looks like. So right now my sway looks like this. I have the background picture with the trip. I have the words that I pasted in there, the text. And I also have my pictures with the attributions underneath. It looks good and it's crazy simple. 
So if I wanted to add a video, if I wanted to add anything else, I can just go back to edit and I can add a new one. So I could add here and then I could add media and I could go in and do all these kind of things. One that I have these images, I can group them. And grouping it is really cool because that gives you more ways of displaying it and they will display as a unit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select them, one, two, three, four, and I'm gonna group them, which makes all of these a group. And I can choose the group type. How do I want it to look like? Right now I have it the side-by-side -side method. You can do the stack method, which is interesting, but doesn't really fit with the sort of more professional look I'm going for right now, but I will show you what that looks like. So I'll stack it and press play. And then when I go down, the pictures look like this which is kind of really interesting and cool. But I'm not a fan of the stack, especially in this area. So I'm gonna go back and edit it and I'm actually going to change my group type back to here. But there is also the slideshow type, all that kind of stuff, whichever fits on the aesthetic that you are going for. So I have it back to this format. So when I go play, I have my background footage with my title, I have my words that explaining what's going on, my text, and I have all my images and then it's made by Sway. This can be for as long as you want. So if you were using this in a classroom and you wanted them to create portfolio evidence of what they've created, they could have the name of the class and their name as the head title and then they could have the background picture they want and an ex explanation about the class and then each assignment can be added as a group of pictures and text. So you can literally just keep adding cards, adding cards, adding cards and at the end of the at the end of the year, they will have one huge entire document or blog type format that will display their entire learning in a portfolio assignment. So this is highly functional and um, I've never really played with it before, but I'm learning that there's so many things you can do and the more I play with it, the more I'm learning you can do. And I'm just really excited about this platform. I think it is a great bridge between the text and, and PowerPoint word aspects of things and the official blog type things. I think this is a great way to teach students how to curate and work on the aesthetics of how they want to express their, themselves um, while using things that are very user friendly. So thank you for watching and um, this is Sway. I highly suggest you check it out.